Introducing Solder Fingers 2.0 in single and dual. A few years ago, I released my initial solder fingers. In designing that, it was initially kind of chunky, and then I thinned it out so it'd print a little bit faster. I always wanted to improve on it by adding some spring-loaded clips. Initially, I thought of using filament as the hinge pin. But the teeth were horizontal, I didn't think it would hold the wires that well, so I iterated and added more cross-cut teeth that should hold the wires from any angle. Again, thinking of using the filament as a hinge pin. Iterating once again, why not use cheap dollar store clothespin springs? At your local dollar store, you can get a couple dozen of these for, you guessed it, a dollar. For my initial test, this worked great. It was off by just a little bit, about a millimeter or so in those notches up at the top. Made them a little taller, moved the notch down a little lower and a little deeper. I think we have a winner on this spring here. One minor issue though is the little handle was catching on one side so I had to carve that back a little bit. Much, much better. Try it in a different color. I like where this is going. The handles could use a little bit of a curve right here. So let's iterate again. Much nicer, closer, but there is, the corners have a little bit of a point on them. You can see these are kind of flat. They feel all right flat, and the curve feels a little better, but it introduced some sharp points on those corners. So, one more iteration. So the final, a little wider, Put a little bit of a bevel on the uh, edges of that, and I think we have a winner. Ready, Ready to, rumble. to rumble! Introducing, Introducing the, dynamic the Dynamic Duel! Duel. Time to get wired!